Okay, so I have an idea based on our experience walking around Paris, or really walking around any major city for that matter, which is we were walking around the Eiffel Tower, which is here, here. <laughs> And there's probably 50 of, the, of, of these street vendors trying to sell the exact same item or different variants of the same item, which is a small little Eiffel Tower keychain or souvenir. And no one's buying. There's a few reasons why no one's buying. Simple economics is that there's way more supply than there is demand. And when you have way more supply than there is demand, it's buyer's world. Uh, so it's going to devalue your product first of all and your product's going to seem a lot less appealing because there's so many there's so many of the same product people so my idea is to teach street vendors about simple business uh, concepts and marketing concepts for these guys they could triple quadruple 10x their profit there's a guy right there selling the, the little trinkets they could 10x their profits if they followed a couple basic ideas. They need to each be selling something different. So there's nothing unique at this point about 50 guys selling the same product everywhere. So you have one guy selling the Eiffel Tower trinkets. And if he's gonna sell the Eiffel Tower trinkets, he does a couple things. He only has a few of them, or at least a few of them on display, which creates a sense of scarcity rather than the sense of I have a, a hundred of the same item and again there's nothing special about that case in point so he's gonna have fewer of the same item in fact maybe one or two of his items that demonstrates unconsciously that there's fewer available and that the item is in fact in demand that the product is in fact in demand versus we have a hundred of these things and they're clearly not selling. So that one guy selling the Eiffel Tower trinkets is gonna follow those principles. Everyone else needs to basically own their own category out here in the Eiffel Tower market, walking around the Eiffel Tower selling their products. So besides the, the 50 guys selling the Eiffel Tower trinkets, you have 50 guys selling beer and champagne. Same beer, same champagne. Okay, definitely selling better because it meets an immediate need for people and they're like, you know, two, two euro for a beer, great. You're paying for the convenience. But for those guys, you need to have someone in each category, right? So you can, you can actually use category design in an environment as basic as street vendors. You need to have a guy who's selling tequila shots. You need to have a guy who's selling fresh coconuts with a little bit of rum poured into it. You have a guy that sells frozen margaritas or whatever, right? So you need to create that uniqueness. You need to create uh, a sense of differentiation in your market and a sense of scarcity, a sense that you're getting something really special, right? So in San Francisco, there is the truffle guy. There's only one truffle guy in Dolores Park in San Francisco. He's the one guy that sells little chocolate truffles that have marijuana in them. He owns that market and he owns that category. People, people here in front of the Eiffel Tower trying to make a living can apply the same principles by owning a category in the Eiffel Tower market. They can in fact work together. They can still get their products from the same places. They can help each other, etc. But in fact, if they were to differentiate themselves, they would, they would 10x their profits. At, at least 10x their profits. So um, anyway. Now I have now my idea is to create a nonprofit or something, create some sort of like fun uh, way to help people like these guys make better sales and have something unique to offer uh, their their customers. The last thing I would say is you need to you need to get people who already have their wallets out, right? So when you go around pressuring people to buy something and I don't already have my wallet out, I'm not in the mentality of buying, right? For I am in the mentality of buying if I'm walking around in a mall or in a shopping area or in an area that sells different kinds of drinks, I'm clearly looking for a drink. I'm clearly thirsty. So don't push drinks to people that aren't thirsty. So that'd be the other thing is set up your stations within the area, let those people come to you. That also creates a different relationship with your customers. This, these are my ideas. Hopefully, <laughs> maybe 
maybe uh, someone will hear them. But this is this is these are my reflections on the Parisian uh, Eiffel Tower market or lack thereof. And uh, here we are, the beautiful Eiffel Tower in iconic Paris. See ya.